frequently the idea of montage is thought of in terms of simply cutting or editing when that loses sight of it on a more fundamental sense and a more creative sense of creating an image through the clash of other images and in the mind of the viewer it creates a much more heightened sense and grasp of what the director is trying to do. An example of this that everyone is familiar with is in Hitchcock's film Psycho. It would have been one thing to shoot in one take, one long shot, Janet Lee being stabbed in the shower, but instead Hitchcock has decided to interlard different cuts, one of a shower curtain, one of a knife, one of a screaming face of Janet Lee, and finally you end up with uh, the blood going down the drain with the water and Janet Lee's face on the floor. But by interlarding these cuts, Hitchcock has created something far more fundamentally terrifying in the mind of the viewer and in the sense of the clash of the images that you get it's far far more uh, affecting on a viewers receptivity on the mind of the viewer when he sees these interlarded images and the clashes they create the mind of the viewer creates something above merely what the images convey another example Tarantino uh, when he made uh, Reservoir Dogs made many, many uh, attempts at uh, cutting off the ear, the scene where they cut off the policeman's ear. And he said that uh, when they finally use it where you do not actually see the ear being cut off, and instead it was done with a montage, it has a far more powerful effect on the viewer than actually seeing a knife chopping off an ear. So the idea that with montage you create a clash of images, separate images, juxtaposed, that the viewer, through his mind putting together the background of what's happening, you get a much more heightened effect. Another example is in Robert Brisson's Pickpocket, The Ballet of the Hands, where you see men on a subway, and you see the mark walking by these men, and it cuts back and forth from the moving of the hands to the pickpocket actually making the take to another cut of a transference from one pickpocket's hand to another pickpocket's hand on the subway and you get the idea of a, of a complete ballet of the hands and the swift movement and where the mark is never aware of it and that these pickpockets are actually artists performing rather than fundamentally taking it in one shot of someone walking by and having his pocket picked by having Bresson use these multiple images and it creates a beautiful literally a ballet of the hands and it's much more effective through the combination of these cuts than using something like one long take. It has a far more powerful effect on the mind of the viewer and it's a great artistic tool in the hands of a gifted director. Uh, this is something that you really really want to learn to appreciate and uh, there are many many forms of montage. The Russians in particular uh, when still dealing with silent cinema had all kinds of theoretical approaches to montage. They had more than ten at least. And uh, contemporary use of the term montage would nowadays, nowadays in the Hollywood sense be creative editing wherein multiple images cause the viewer to see a whole different view than simply recording it in one shot and in those series of different interlarded shots the mind of the viewer creates along with the director so that you get a much more powerful response visual and mental response in the viewer than something that would be done in one complete straight take.